What's up, college football fans, sports fans, and fans of my channel? Guys, if you're my channel, please start subscribing, liking, commenting, sharing, all that good stuff, baby. It really helps me out. Helps my channel, guys. Helps me to grow. It's to the Big Ben Nation. Thank y'all so much, baby. So much coming back, watching all my videos from the beginning to the end. I love you guys. I love you. Y'all I got. Y'all I got, baby. Y'all I got. Hey, fam, welcome, guys. Welcome to the nice video, baby, between Georgia and Kentucky, man, in which Georgia is 11 0. 11 0, fam. Number one ranked team in the nation. Going to Kentucky, 6 and 5, and uh, Kentucky is not ranked. Fam, Georgia will fail by 22 and a half points. 22 and a half points, guys. Open on was 47 and a half. So, fam, look, guys, our uh, ending score was Georgia 16. <laughs> Kentucky 6. So, guys, this was uh, – I didn't expect this game either, bro. Like, it was a lot of games in the SEC this week that I didn't expect it to turn out that way, you know, I mean, the way that it did. But anyway, fam, look, I'm going to read these stats, bro, which ain't much. <laughs> it ain't much, bro. And we really just going to talk about this game, man, break this game uh, break this game down and have a conversation about it, my brothers and sisters. But anyway, fam, okay, so Georgia. Georgia three points in the first quarter. Kentucky zero. Second quarter, Georgia six points, Kentucky zero. So, fam, nine to zero. All field goals, guys. All field goals, fam. Second, our uh, third quarter, Georgia got their first touchdown, which I wrote that down. It was at about 622, fam. 622 in the third quarter. That's when Georgia scored their first touchdown. And um, Kentucky, they got their touchdown in the fourth quarter, which made it 16 to 6. So, guys, look, bro, Georgia did not cover this point spread whatsoever, but. They still won. A win's a win, man. And our uh, fam, Stetson Bennett, guys, 13 out of 19 completion slash attempts, 116 yards, zero teddies, one interception, zero sacks. So not a bad day, bro. But man, he he didn't he didn't throw as much, fam. Did not throw as much to, um this tonight. I went last night. And as far as his um, you know, the completion slash attempts, only 13 out of 19. So hey, he, he didn't throw that much. McIntosh, on the other hand, 19 rushes, 143 yards, one touchdown. And, fam, he was the only guy to score a touchdown. The only man to score a touchdown, fam, for Georgia. And it was 14 rushes for 50 yards, zero titties. And as far as receiving, fam, nobody scored a touchdown receiving, bro. Blaylock, two recorded catches, 38 yards, zero titties. McConkey, three recorded catches, 28 yards, zero titties. And McIntosh, two recorded catches, 19 yards, zero titties. So, fam, that is it for um, Georgia and whatnot, fam. Not going to really go over the defense because, fam, we didn't really have much We didn't really have much offense or defense in this game. But I'm going over the offense and whatnot, fam. And Will Levis for Kentucky, 20 out of 31 completion session attempts. Uh, so, more, definitely more passes than Stetson. 206 yards, one touchdown, one interception, one sack. So, Levis, on the other hand, bro, you know, yes, had more completions, had more attempts and whatnot, more yards and stuff. Even had a touchdown, but also an interception and a sack and whatnot by yours truly, Georgia Bulldog. So, fam, Seth, I mean, Levis, he did pretty good in this game. I mean, you know, it, was, it wasn't hard, but, bro, it actually, actually really decent. And rushing, Chris Rodriguez, bro, with 17 rushes, 51 yards, zero touches. Yes, he didn't have no touchdowns, but, fam, he did ran the ball really well. Well, pretty, he, he did, he did, he did, you know. And um, because it's it's Georgia, bro. So in, if you run the ball halfway decent, you run it, you run it good. And as far as um receiving, my boy Mr. Brown, ten recorded catches, hundred forty five yards, one touch. All right, fam, look, that's it for the stats, bro. Let's break this thing down, guys. Cause man, this was an old fashioned like I don't know, guys. It was like you ever seen those games, bro? Where this, you know, it's just like you know, it's not really exciting. It's just hey, bro, we we coming here to play. It's kind of cold, kind of nifty. We just want to kick your ass and go home. That's kind of how it was, bro, in this game with Georgia and Kentucky, man, in which, bro, yes, Kentucky actually lost to freaking Vanderbilt last week. I think it was like 24-21. So, you know, the average person would say, well, Georgia's going to cover this point spread, no doubt about it. You know, no no ifs, ands, or buts about it. Huh. They was wrong. I was wrong. We all was wrong, bro. Like, no, Georgia did not cover this point spread. Matter of fact, Georgia didn't get their first touchdown into the third quarter. So, guys, that's the thing, bro. We can sit here and say all day, well, man, this team should do this team. That team should do that team because they lost to this team or they beat that team. Fam, just throw all that out the window, bro. Okay? Because I used to do that same stuff until I started just really learning about college football. Fam, we all have different versions of our team. 
just because you got beat last week, bro, by the sorriest team pretty much in the SEC, that doesn't mean that you're going to come out and just, you know, lose horribly to the number one team in the nation. Because they only really they only lost by 10 points. It's kind of, this is actually a respectable loss from Kentucky, man, you know? And um, like I said, bro, in that game, I got to go back and watch that game because fam, I work nights. So I'm trying to watch everybody's game and do and do the video on them, man. But uh, they did have some calls that didn't go that way. But I think, and I'm pretty sure Georgia did too. So fam, this game right here, bro, I can't really say, really just say too much about this game, guys, because not a, not a lot happened, man. I mean, it was really back and forth. Georgia's just scoring field goals for the first half. You know, they just scored one touchdown in the third. Kentucky just scored one touchdown in the, in the fourth, in which they the field goal, I guess they missed the field goal. What I got to go back and look at that, bro. So, man, it was, you know, it, it was, guys, it was just an old fashioned, you know, game. Like, it just felt, you know, not, not really exciting, but just, hey, you know, we just going to get the job done either way it goes. And they got, Georgia got the job did. Georgia's still ranked number one. They are not falling out that high horse, bro. Georgia is going into the SEC championship rank number one. And um, and yeah, fam, this this really, this game right here, bro, it, it was just, like I said, you have those kind of games sometimes. Sometimes, bro, you just, it seems like never really goes right. And I don't know exactly how cold, I looked up how cold it was last night in the lesson. It said it was like in the 30s, so that's not terribly cold. But for Georgia, I don't know, maybe it was a little colder than what Georgia's used to. And I know what I'm used to. So, fam, still, though, bro, uh, Kentucky, man, they played they play the hearts. They played the best game probably this year, bro. You know, yeah, they end up losing. But still, Kentucky still played a good game. It was just, hey, you know, it's just Georgia. Just, Georgia's too much, man. Georgia's just too much. Be honest with you guys, for anybody this, this, this year right here, I would definitely say Georgia's just too much, man. Like, I mean, they, they just are, bro. It doesn't matter who they go up against. You know, it, it's it, whether it's a close game uh, or they score 100 points on you. Either way it go, nine times out of ten, Georgia's going to win. I mean, they just got too many athletes. They, they're just well coached. They're ferocious. They're dangerous. They got everything working for them, man. You know, even in the cold, guys, it doesn't even matter, bro. Like, they still going to find a way to beat you. Hot, cold, sleet, slow, don't freaking matter. Georgia's going to find a way to get you some kind of way, bro. So, with that being said, man, this game right here, yeah, Kentucky did all they could. Chris, you know, Will Levis, man, you know, I, I hats out to you, Brown, all you guys, bro, but Georgia's just a little too much, man. It's just a little too much. And I know y'all was at home. Home field advantage says a lot, but at the end of the day, man, Georgia's just too much. So, with that being said, guys, chalk it up in the victory books for Georgia, man. Georgia got a victory, <laughs> as usual. And uh, they are leading the conference, and hopefully – Hopefully, Georgia wins it all, bro. You know, for the comfort, man. Keep us strong or whatnot, guys. Because, uh, yeah, yeah, that's 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 my main thing. I just want us to win our comfort main number one, in which I don't see it going down anytime soon, bro. So, yeah, with that being said, congratulations, Georgia. Y'all are number one, 11 and 0, you know, defending champs, and rightfully so, deserving so. And Kentucky, my hat's off to you as well. You played a good game, bro. You only lost by 10 points. You know, and I know some people might say, with well, Ben, we wanted to win. You know, a loss is a loss, man. We still, I understand that, man. But look who you lost against. It was only by 10 points. It's better than losing to Georgia by 10 than freaking losing to Vanderbilt by three. You feel me, though? Like, they just seven more points that Georgia beat you by. So that's, that's some kind of, you know, accomplishment, recognition, I guess. You know, you got to look at the positives, man. But anyway, fam, I love you guys. And with that being said, I love college football. You love college football. We love college football. And again, much love, much love, guys. Stay tuned. Stay blessed. I promise you, I'll be back with more videos. All right, peace.